In a previous video, I talked about polynomial division, and I would urge you to go back and watch that because there are times polynomial division is absolutely the best strategy for breaking a function apart to make it maybe more workable or find factors or uh, maybe integrate in a calculus class or something. Essentially, it came down to the fact that we were always taking this first term and dividing it, and then we would you know, x cubed divided by x, and we'd have this, and then we'd multiply and subtract to see what was left over when we divided that x out. And then we redid it. We said, okay, negative x squared divided by x is negative x, and we repeated subtraction. Um, and we got down to a remainder. Because this is very prescriptive, because all we're ever doing is kind of using the coefficients and then, you know, subtracting, this can be... Uh, done faster, uh, like many things in math, like if, if you have something that is very um, much an algorithm that you just repeat over and over, oftentimes we can come up with a faster way to do it. So this is the idea behind synthetic division. And it's a little bit different. First of all, we line up all of our coefficients. So I'm going to just write down, or uh, you know, we have 1x cubed, 2x squared, 6x, negative 4. I'm going to write those down. Um, 1x cubed, 2x squared, 6x, negative 4. Like that. Now, one thing, and some books might do this differently, but I always do this looking at my, my divisor, and I figure out the 0. So in this case, the factor is x plus 3, but what would make it 0 is negative 3. That's what I'm going to put out here, okay? And the reason you do this is it, it's this way instead of using 3 is oftentimes uh, we're doing this in, in pre-calculus to try and get um, the zeros. So if we, you know, have figured out using rational root theorem the zeros, we would rather just use that. Okay, the first coefficient is exactly the same as it will always be. So we use 1. Now, we always multiplied whenever we had that coefficient. Up here it was, you know, 1x squared. We multiply to see what was left. We're going to do the same thing. Uh, so negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Now, because I'm using a negative 3 instead of a positive, the x plus 3, instead of subtracting, we're going to add. So you are going to, if you want to make like a little thing here, we are adding all of our numbers. So 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1. Repeat the step. Negative 3 times negative 1 is 3. Add down. 6 plus 3 is 9. Negative 3 times 9 is negative 27. Add. Now, I want you to notice these, co these numbers are my coefficients on my answer. And this last one is my remainder. Again, this shouldn't be a surprise. It's an algorithm. Now, the one thing that's sometimes hard for people to do, and I, I always urge, like almost working backwards, is saying, okay, this last number is the remainder and then work your way. So this was my, uh, this had no x, this has an x, this has an x squared. So just kind of work your way back. Um, so we have 1x squared minus 1x plus 9, and the last one's the remainder. We kind of work backwards from our standard form. Another way you can think about it is we began with an x cubed and then divided an x out. Uh, if you divide an x out of x cubed, you were at x squared. So you can work your way left to right or right to left. I always just say, go to the remainder. This is the remainder. So this is the one with no x, x, x squared, and so on. Let's do one more. Okay, so instead of doing this one by hand, let's do this one with synthetic division. Uh, I want you to first note we're missing a term. Right in here, we have no x term. So when we write down our coefficients of 2 and 4, we're going to do one 0 x and then negative 9. So my coefficients are going to be 2, 
4, 0, and negative 9. Again, that 0 is simply there to make, to make room with that 0x. Okay? Up here, x minus 4 is the factor, so the 0 is x equals 4. So that's what I'm going to put here. Just again, make a note. We're going to be adding. All right, the first number drops directly down, 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Add. 4 times 12 is 48. Add. 4 times 48. Add. Remainder. No x. x. x squared. So 2x squared plus 12x plus 48 with a remainder of 183. This is a really, really nice way to do this. It really works best if we've got just a simple factor with no coefficient here other than 1. Um, and it works best if, if it's... A linear factor so it doesn't have like an x squared or something if it did I'd probably just use polynomial division but this is a really fast way to check if a number can divide out if this video helped you please like and subscribe for more math help